Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back once again to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT. Your old friend Jack, back out here in the Jack Shack. Today, I'm sure the title and thumbnail gave it away, we are going to be doing an unboxing of a special radio I bought for a very special trip that I'll be taking, and I'll be flying. So let's go ahead and start with this video today and the unboxing of this item. Okay, my friends, so let's start with the unboxing. So the first thing I wanna unbox here is, now don't run away and say, oh no, Jack's got a new battery. That's okay. This is a battery pack that's gonna be very portable and I bought this for a very specific reason, okay? So this battery is a talent cell, okay? And I'm like you, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I needed something small, something compact because I'm taking this equipment to Puerto Rico, okay? I'm going to be working, uh, hopefully, some parks in Puerto Rico. Uh, we rented an Airbnb, so I know definitely I can set the wire up. Uh, you've seen by now my uh, NFED half-wave antenna that I built. Um, I'm taking that because I bought something that was extremely portable and lightweight that I could take on an airplane. So I'm kind of making an airplane pack. So I needed a battery pack, I needed an antenna, um, and I'll probably be buying another Morse code keyer from CW Morse, uh, probably their, their portable paddle uh, without the base, because I need something lightweight to make a lightweight pack, okay? So I can take it on the airplane. Let's go ahead and unbox this and show you what battery pack I purchased. Uh, okay, let's get this open. All right, take a look at this thing. So here is the instructions. How to use one female and two male cables. Da, da, da. Okay, that's nice. The reason I purchased this is it comes with a multiple adapter um, plugs, right? So you can plug this in, different adapters, different types of radios. And apparently, the radio that I purchased, these adapters will work, right? Here is a... This is the, um, come on camera, stay on. This is the charging unit, okay, so I can charge it. Now, I'm not sure how many amp hours this is, but for running QRP, does it tell you on here how many amp hours it is? It does not tell me how many amp hours it is. Anyway, this is the battery pack that I purchased. It's really lightweight, okay? Even with the cables, you can see I can charge USB off of here. And, again, I can use these multiple connectors on this. So I can actually plug this right in to the portable radio. It's got an on-off button. I don't see any lights on here. Oh, there's a light, right? Oh, there it is. There you go. So it does already have a charge, okay? I'm planning on testing this tomorrow, so I'm not dating this video, but tomorrow I'm planning on testing out this QRP rig that I'm going to show you here. So there's the battery pack, all right? Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next item here. Uh, up. And uh, take a look at this here. Again, this is from across the ocean from Kole. Whatever that says. ETGB. Okay, came via FedEx. It was just dropped off today. All right, so let me see if I can pull this apart here. Right. Why is it everything you buy these days? It's incredibly well packaged. See here. Okay, I'm not going to show you my address. We'll keep that covered up. There you go. So there's the package. It is... Well, it doesn't even say the company name on here. Hmm. It is actually... It should be. I think this is the box. All right. Let me uh, see if I can't get this unpackaged here. All right. Pull this out. Let's first look at 
I don't think this is the bill itself. It is. I'm not. I'm not showing it to you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely the one I ordered. This is from QRP Labs. Okay, it's our friends over uh, across the uh, ocean. There, um, the one I actually purchased was a uh, 20, 30, 40, 60, and 80 meter rig. Okay, so multi-band QRP rig. Uh, enclosure included, yes. Uh, Japan Limit, just no, no, I didn't need those. Firmware, they got the latest firmware on there. Okay, so we know that's good to go. Um, this is the actual test paper because when, and we're going to talk about that, let's open that. This is the serial number of the rig. Well, that's the order number. That's not the serial number of the rig. Okay. All right, let's move on here. All right, pull this tape off. Pull this tape off. Okay, more tape. Look, more tape. Okay. Handy handy scissors out here. Let's cut that tape. It is very well packaged. Uh, and I'm, I'm very happy with that because, you know, you don't know about them FedEx guys, right? When they throw things on your port. I did order this. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Does anybody know what that's for? Hmm. Huh. Just a little like keychain that says QRP Labs. That's pretty neat on the Y, what that's for. I did actually buy the power plug, but like I said, the power plug that came with the battery adapter should be one of these. And yes, I think it is. I think it's that one right there. Okay, so that's why I bought this uh, particular battery pack. But I do have an extra power cable. I'll use this for my uh, bigger battery pack, and I'll, I'll wire it up for that at some point here okay let's go ahead and keep going here and there we go the qmx transceiver all right and there's the audio input the paddle input okay for my paddles the dc input okay the bnc connector push to talk ptt because they're planning on some upgrades with this where they're going to make it a uh, single sideband USB, yeah, the volume knobs feel very good. The tuning knob feels very good. It has a built-in keyer, uh, which that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'm finding I'm going to need a building. I'm going to need to buy a keyer, and I'm going to buy a kit uh, for my uh, G90. Uh, just keying like CQ, 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 POTA, CQ, POTA, CQ. It, it gets to be a pain, right? Uh, dual VFOs, which that's pretty cool. I don't know if they split or not, but I don't really care about that. Yeah, look how nice that radio is, man. That is sharp. And you can buy these as a kit uh, if you're a super builder. I am not a super builder. Um, you know, um, I'll put a picture right here of the antenna that I built, and you can see all the hot glue on it, and how I'm not a super builder. So I didn't want to take a chance of building this thing. But um, So, yeah, it's got rubber feet on the back of it here. Sorry about the camera moving around a little bit there. So it can sit right down like that. I can, you know, you can sit up. It'd be nice if they had a little thing on the back here where you can, like, kind of sit it up. But even sitting down like that should be fine. Uh, have audio, it has audio out. And I bought a speaker. I didn't bring the speaker up here to unbox it with you. But I did buy an external speaker. Um, but, yeah, that's the whole radio, guys. Pretty awesome, huh? Hmm. All right. I don't even see a power button on this thing. Oh, yeah, I guess I do. There's a button on there. Volume knob just turns around and around and around. So I'm not even sure how it powers up yet. All right. So anyway, let's see if I put a battery pack on this, if it will power up. All right. Let me try that. Okay. It did power right up. There is going to be a learning curve. I see it is on CW. It's only a CW rig. Can you see that? And looking at the right plane, there's no instructions in the box, which is pretty interesting. But... If you double press the mode, this button right here, the volume button, you can see where I can go to, what is that? Hold on, guys. Let me uh, take a look here. So that's the 80 meter band. That must be the 60 meter band. That's the 40 meter band. 
that would be 30 meters and 20 meters. Okay, tune it over here so you can tune it up and down. Okay, the volume is right here so you can go up and down with the volume. All right, pretty nice little rig. I mean, I do have a learning curve here. I'm gonna have to check out some YouTube videos because I have no idea how to set the keyer. And there's no directions in here, so I'm sure they're on their website. I'm going to have to look up on their website and see how to set all this up. So the display is really, really nice. You can see that display on there. It's really brilliant. And that uh, looks really, really good. Uh, the different VFOs, there's B, there's B and A, and there's just A, okay? So there you go. I'm not going to hit the keyer button because I don't want to transmit. I have no antenna connected. All right, really awesome looking little radio. So if I hold this down, it'll shut it down, and there you go. So that's it. All right. Okay, guys, so I guess I'm the happy, proud owner of a uh, QRP Labs um, QMX five-band transceiver. And again, the transceiver is, just to reiterate, and I know I told you on the video already, 20 30, 40, 60, and 80 meters. You know, most of my activations are on 20 and 40 meters, but who knows? Maybe in Puerto Rico, I could be up a late night and I could hit 80 meters and see what happens, right? I will give you a further review when I get this thing in the field. Like I said, I'm hoping maybe tomorrow. Uh, so that might be my next activation. Uh, the bands have been really weird. The last time I was out, you've seen uh, that video, I think already, um, that... I uh, failed in an activation with 20 watts, so who knows? But you know what? The joy of ham radio is the joy of ham radio. It's the fun of getting out, having some fun, and uh, just being out in nature. And, and I can't wait to fire up this little rig and uh, see what it'll do. So make sure it all works. But I'll do that on the next video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this installment of Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT in this is Jack in the Jack Shack, and I will talk to you guys next time. Hey, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. I don't know what's going to be next, but I'm sure it's going to be something that's interesting. Uh, trying to bring you some different types of content because, guys, I watch a lot of ham operators on YouTube also. I do. I watch a lot of videos, and I'm just trying to keep it interesting and, uh, you know, try to bring you a different perspective because this is my journey back to ham radio. Thanks. Maybe I'll catch you on the bands out there and 73s. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.